In this video, I'm gonna show you how to transform my room all the way from my awkward childhood bedroom into my dream room. You're gonna see how simple it really is to change the whole look of your room in just a few steps. So if you're looking for tips and tricks on how you can achieve your dream room, watch this video. So my room went through three different stages before it became the room it is today. In 2019, it looked like this. I mean, it didn't look bad or anything, it was just kind of bland and boring for my taste. So in 2020, I decided it's time for a change. I looked online where I first got introduced to Pinterest. There, I found a lot of inspiration like these rooms here. I love the clean and minimal look of them, so I tried to match this aesthetic by hanging up these gold and black frames or adding posters. I also bought a bigger bed and a clothing rack. And this is how it turned out. For my first room makeover, I think it came out pretty good. So now that you've seen my room in 2020, let's go to 2021. At this time, my aesthetic was very colorful and bright, so I tried to reflect that in my room. I made a Pinterest board with all my favorite posters and printed them out. Then I planned a layout on the floor and put the posters on my wall. I wanted to make everything look very dreamy and cute, so I added a lot of plants, candles and fairy lights. At the end, my room looked like this. I just love the soft and comfy vibe it's giving, especially with all the lights and candles. But as time went by, not only my room, but also I was changing. I went from soft and light clothes into more of a grunge look, so walking in my room looked like this. Yeah, it didn't fit me. That's why I decided it's time for something different. So with all the knowledge I gained from my previous room makeovers, let me show you now how I transformed my room into my dream room. The first step is to remove everything from decor to posters to have a plain base. So I got to ripping the posters from my walls and I have to say it was pretty nerve wracking cause I was not sure if I'm gonna make it worse and that it was the right decision because a part of me still loved my very core room, but as I was saying, it didn't fit me at all, so I had to say goodbye to my beloved posters. The second step is creating a clear vision of your dream room. I didn't have an exact aesthetic or anything, I just had some things I liked and pieced them together. So I liked the old vintage look, like these type of gold mirrors and dried flowers. I also love frames and most of all these canopies. My color palette in general is dark green, black and white tones and I chose posters depending on what I like. So they had for example planets, stars, nature and butterflies on them. So now that I had an exact idea of my new room, I got to step 3, decorating. The first thing I wanted to tackle was the canopy. The problem was though that IKEA wasn't selling them and the ones on Amazon weren't 100% what I wanted, so I made them myself and I'm gonna show you how exactly I did that. Starting off, all you need are 5 long curtains and 3 small ones. For adjusting, you need nails or thumbtacks. First, put a long curtain on the ceiling so the sides are hanging down, creating a rectangle. Then put a curtain in the back on each side. Make sure that one end is touching the wall for about 50 centimeters and the other one is attached to the ceiling. Put the small curtains between them. One in the middle, lower and in the front. Then attach two more curtains in an L shape. The short bit comes in the front and the longer one on the sides. Lastly, all you need to do is put a hair tie on them and you're done. I also attached some leaves here and there and a fairy light which makes this base look so cozy and pretty, especially at night. Then I put some posters over my bed, but because I always get asked where I get them from, let me show you now. All you have to do is make a word document and paste the images from Pinterest on there. Then print them out. I'm using my own printer for this because the quality is great and you can save a lot of money. And there you go. If you want a bigger poster, size the image up till it's in half, then duplicate the other half on another page. 
open it out, then grab some scissors and cut the edges. Glue both sides together and just like that, you have a bigger poster. To attach them to your wall, you can use double-sided tape or roll regular tape so the sticky side is on the outside. Add one in every corner and put it wherever you want. This is how I put the posters over my bed. The layout is very important, so I recommend planning it on the floor first. It definitely took me a long time to figure it out, but I couldn't be more happier with the finished result. With that being done, I'm going to show you now how I decorated the rest of my walls. The items I used are frames, posters, dried flowers, leaves, mirrors, and shelves. The rest of the decorations were books, candles, dried plants, fake plants, real plants, and other cute items like this pretty bird statue I found in my house or this cactus I've put in a cup. First, I decorated a nightstand next to my bed. I love this lamp I placed there, it's from Ikea and it was only like 20 euros so I really recommend it. After a few more decorations my nightstand looks like this. Over it I hung up the shelf and placed some plants, dried roses and a candle on it. Over that I hung this frame and underneath more posters. So at the end it looks like this. On the left side of my bed I attached a hanging basket on the ceiling which I got in a pack from Amazon and I also really recommend it. Underneath I added a mirror as well as posters. Next to it I put some dried flowers and some more posters. And just like that the bedside is done. I was really happy with how everything turned out, but I was far from being done because I had to do the whole other side of my room. So one week later, I gathered enough willpower to tear everything down once again. Now I had a new blank canvas, so first I hung these leaves all across the wall. I put them kind of messily on there so it has like more of a natural look. Then I started to decorate my desk space. I found this old golden frame laying around my house and I knew I had to use it so I hung it right above my desk with a poster in it. I decorated the shelves with some books, a candle and plants. On the right side of the table I laid down a cloth and on that I put some books, flowers and other things till it looked like this. As I was saying I love vintage frames so I got a few frames from Ikea to hang them all above my drawer. Also I found this old mirror at a flea market I had to add there. So because I need a place for all my jewelry, I hammered four nails in the wall and hung a lace cloth on there so it serves as a holder for my necklaces. I love the idea of this pic I found on Pinterest so I tied some dried roses on a stick over my clothing rack. And then I grabbed some clothes that matched the colors of my room and hung them there. the last part of my room I had to decorate. I was so excited that it's almost done but at the same time I'm also kind of sad because I had so much fun doing the makeover even when it was kind of nerve-wracking at first because I didn't know how it would turn out but at the end I couldn't be more happier so let me give you a tour of my new room. Oh hey didn't see you there. You want to come in? Welcome to my dream room.
So it's been almost two years now since the start of my room makeover and I'd say nothing really changed. So I think most of the stuff you've already seen, but there's one thing I haven't shown you yet. And that's this side of my room, which I never film because I kind of think it's boring. But there's one special thing on my dresser and that's my art collection. It's a collection of drawings I have here and yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's so fun to watch my room change over the years because I think it also kind of represents change in me and the different phases I went through as a person. So now I'm really happy with it and I can truly say it is my dream room. So all in all, I just want to tell you guys that you don't need a lot of money to give your room a makeover. Just rearranging it and adding different posters can change the whole look of your room. Give it a try and I promise you everything will come together eventually. So I hope I could inspire you to turn your room into your dream room. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.